Okay. A uh, big complaint about this. Well, there's only actually one now. Uh, I think I've corrected a couple situations or problems or, you know, questions that people were asking, like the difference between the European, the, the uh, horsepower, and uh, I think it's in this dude right here. Because that muffler, the factory muffler, is really, really restrictive. I don't know if it's going to get me eight, seven, eight horses more or whatever, but uh, it runs good and it idles and runs and revs good and sounds great anyway, and it looks great. Uh, we're going to do the other complaint or the hold back at people say that uh, it's a must for our U.S. highways is uh, cruise control. So I'm going to see if I can uh, address this situation, this problem. And uh, we're going to do, as I got from uh, whoop, a Revzilla and ordered this in, got this the other day, is Kaoko. Kaoko, however you say it. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's been shipped around the world. <laughs> it was in the package and in a package and another package, it looks like. So uh, here, here's what it consists of. This is all I've seen in it, the whole thing. Well, you got the instructions. Got the instructions here. It shows you how to do it. We'll look at that. Let's get this out of the way. All that is is just a, hmm, stickers and whatnot. So we are going to see if how uh, if this remedies some of the problem with the cruise control. Uh, it's, it's it's pretty much a throttle stop or throttle lock or whatever they they call it. It comes with this washer here. And I can see how it goes. Uh, yes. Looks like we got to take some things off first. Let's, let's just do that. Let's just, uh, hmm. hmm. Okay, take these. I know a four and a five millimeter was somewhere in the equation. And, uh, ah, oh, wow. Oh, I think it's seized up. Let's get this, do this first. <laughs> well, one of these will do it. And there we are. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I've got the bark buster. Sort of. So the thing that's going to have to be changed is this right here. I don't know if this is picking up or not. And uh, all right, just keep it about like that. So I'm going to have to move this. And uh, I got a little issue here with it. I should have notched that. That'd been good to do. I don't want to have to take the. Uh, oh well. Hmm. Let's do that. Give it a little indentation. There we are. Yeah, it'll do it without having to take a take these screws off of that. Just do that. Well, good quick save. Now. All right, we're going to take this loose. The bark busters. And the bark busters, they have a little washer on this side over here. Spacer, they call it. Now, there we go. Just let that stay like that. And uh, actually, I don't think I use any of this since... Mm -mm. Yep. Mm hmm. There we go. All right, let's put this back where it belongs. <laughs> oh, well, just over here for the time being. And it uh, shows that we got to put this washer here. It goes up against the, uh, looks like the throttle. Uh, let's see, where are we at? Throttle sleeve. And the thrust washer. Thrust, thrust washer, throttle sleeve. This right here pretty much just 
gives it a little bit of a drag when you uh oh yeah when you turn it um anyway i don't have any drag on it i'm gonna test it out i don't want it drag until i get that set up for later so let's see what's going on here okay all right uh, they say to put this up against here and this is for the honda is that right oh yeah hmm 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 Hmm. Oh. oh yeah yeah now since i've got hmm we're gonna see how this now the bark busters has this uh cut out right here let me see how long this is compared to this quite a bit longer can't can't use that mm. oh, that might be an issue I may have to get a uh, screw just like this that is I forgot what they call that that's cut out like that you know oh, and I used to know all those things I forgot so we're gonna put this in here like this Oh yeah, oh yeah, it didn't seem to hinder anything. It does show it with hand protection, but fact the factory ones. Huh, all right. Wow, it just sort of lands, look at that, it lands right there. I don't see an issue with that. Hmm, let me see, yeah. Well, I could have loosened that up a little bit. Yeah, you might, oh no, it works. Oh, dang it. Yeah, I want to say other things. Oh, yeah, you know when you drop something, it seems like everything hits the floor. Okay, let's put this back. <laughs> there we are. Hmm, oh, there. Hmm, I wonder, wait a minute, does this not fit it? Is there supposed to be something else that goes in here? You know, uh, I think I know now. You know what? I think you can't really use, when you have bark busters, they have a, their own screw so this is like a trial and error thing. <laughs> let's just let's just give this a try. Because I remember if you well we'll find out if you get this and if you got bark busters, you have to use the screw for the bark busters. Oh, that is a thought. Well, let's we'll see. Okay, we got everything on there. You gotta put the thrust washer for the throttle sleeve. Uh, because it has to, I'm, oops, this works in, believe it or not, just the reverse threads. <laughs> wow. Now, if I push it up against it, no, it's, yeah, no, it, it bottoms out against this. So that's, that's good. Mm -hmm, yeah, that's. So let's just try that. I think we use, so looks like nothing is, nothing is lost. Look at there. So there's, there's no, uh, oh well, nothing, so nothing is really a failure here if you use the bark busters. I'm thinking, oh well. Hmm. Mm hmm. Wow. 
Do I have the right screw? Mm -hmm. There we are. Yeah, you probably, you might have to loosen some things up over here too, the clamps for the bark busters, but I believe you just use the same screw. Oh, wow, wow, look at there. I don't see any problem with that. And uh, this, of course, when you snug it up against it, let me see. Does this, could tighten it up a little more. Does this drag? Oh, hmm. How much does it take to... Oh, wow. Oh, check that out. And then you just back it off. Oh, that's amazing. Okay. Well, hmm. Now I'll just test this dude out on the road. So, there you have it. If you use the Bark Busters for the... Kaoko, I think that's what, how they say it. It even shows it right here. Kaoko. Uh, throttle stop, throttle lock, cruise control. They call it cruise control on the website, but you know, I don't know if it controls their cruise, just keeps a certain speed. Pretty much on flat level ground, but you know, you might have to assist it a little bit. But hey, you know, you rest your hands. And most of the time, you're on a long straightaway. You know, it's not always hills, so. Uh, and usually when it's hills, it seems like you've got curves and turns and stuff like that, too. So, uh, yeah, I think this is a, this may be, may be a, a solution when you're in a pinch for cruise control. Make sure I got this set right. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Huh. So. Hmm. So that's how that works. And you still got plenty of movement there. Nothing binding. And you just turn this up. Whoops, wrong way. That's that's taking it off. Uh, okay, so as you're driving or riding the motorcycle, you just pull that down until you stop it. And flip it up and if you don't want that moving around flopping around a little bit you they they have a little set screw there that where you bring it in and have some drag on it so you know you can just easily turn it lock it and turn it back up take it back off so <laughs> this looks pretty good it looks like it's oh, seeming to be a little promising mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. All right. Good old bark busters. Come off out of there. <laughs> I'm going to hang up a little bit. Yeah, and then this. So you just use the screw for the bark busters set up. So whatever come with the bark busters, use it. On this one, it, it worked that way on this, for the uh, trans out. And uh, it is specific uh, part. It is a, it's, you know, specifically, specifically for the trans out. See, there, Honda XL750 trans out, 23 of up. And it shows this. See, now this is a little different. This is uh, now this is the factory, supposedly the factory hand protectors or uh, mm, knuckle guards, whatever you call them. Uh, and uh, so you would use if you have the factory hand hand guards on it. Then this is what you do. They have everything for you, and this is the. Look like this is for the bark busters. Uh, you know, it has that little washer. I forgot which side it's on. I think it was, I think it was like that. But I did find out <laughs> that you cannot use the screw they give you uh, if you have bark busters. 
but the factory hand guards from Honda, you have to use that. So that, you know, that makes sense. I'm just going to drop this back down in here. Uh, and, uh, mm -hmm. and put this in here like that. Okay, that looks huh, seeming to be pretty pretty good, promising here. So, yeah, I know that this is the. Oh yeah, that's cool. Yeah, and you can put some drag on it, where you don't want it to always have it. Oh yeah, well, all right, I'm gonna back it up a little bit. But when you're riding down the road, I'm sure it'll be vibrating everywhere. So you probably just wanted a little bit of drag on the, on, you know, so you're not too far away from locking it in. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, wow. Let's see how that works. Okay. Oh, yeah, that, see, that locks in. I mean, what you know, you, that locks in good. And... And you can still, yeah, it's not like it's locked where you can't take the throttle off of it. It's got enough drag that you can still move it. It just will pretty much stay where you put it. Huh. Because that thrust washer acts as, acts as a kind of like a friction thrust washer. It puts a little bit of stop on it or a little bit of, Stiction, but not enough to, you know, you know, if it had teeth on there, lock it in. Well, you wouldn't want that, you know, because that'd be a little scary when you can't get the throttle off real quick. I like that. So there it is. I call it cruise control. I call it throttle lock. That's what I, most people call them. From Kaoko. Kaoko. I think that's how you say that. Kaoko, and uh, hopefully it's sort of a remedy for cruise control. We'll test this dude out. We'll test it out on the next next video. I'll probably run this one up with a uh, playlist. So we're gonna do that right now. I can't really do it today. It's really, really, really cold out. Uh, <clears throat> we got a little cold spell. I mean, I could, but we got to go visit for. Uh, visit visit for the day or the vacation days that some of the uh, families off this week and uh, have dinner here in a little bit so don't want to get too involved in that that's that's really nice yeah and then you can always uh, which way is it? oh yeah this way yeah oh, oh that's that's great and you just pull it a little bit. Now, now that that's going to work really good. I, I like that. So that looks looks very good. Looks very good. I did, yeah, I already did all that. So there you have it. Kaoko throttle lock, cruise control. So. Mm -hmm. And lock it in. Uh, like, yeah, you just do like this. Actually, you could probably, as you're riding, go like that and keep it there. You go like that because it works in reverse threads, and it's a good it's a good thing it works reverse threads because the way you're throttling is the way it will work to to uh, set the cruise control. So turn this way, then have to turn it this way. So you want to, so you, what you do is you set your cruise control, you'll just probably throw your hand over a little bit and do like that. And then it'll stay there like that. Now I pushed it back because I didn't have it too tight. Yeah. And it's got enough, uh, you know, stiction there. Oh yeah, I, I like that. Uh huh. I guess the only thing you're really going to wear is this little washer, and that's metal. So, and that looks a little different. 
Mm. Well, oh, I guess if you want to back it all the way out, but it looks like to me I've really got to go quite a bit. Uh, um, well, it's just the way it is. I see that little O-ring down in there, but I think that's that's if you just want to back this dude all the way out. Uh, if you want to just back it all the way out. Like that. Hmm? Let me get around here. Uh -huh. Yeah. I mean, it's completely... Now, that's, that's a whole lot like the way it feels, you know, with the uh, Bark Busters without this on here. And weight-wise, I felt the two, and it didn't feel like any difference. It's like it's not changing any dimensions. Everything sort of worked like it's supposed to, the Bark Busters. So there you got the... Uh, I have the... Uh, <laughs> hmm... Remedy for cruise control. We'll see how well it goes on the next video. We'll see how this works. Along with this, how it runs. All right. And let me see, is this, is this still recording? Yes, it is. I'm just trying to figure out how to, yeah.